Hey guys, Spartan 117GW, and today we're going to take a look at the EPM by PTS Syndicate. Now, EPM stands for Enhanced Polymer Mag. What it essentially is, is a magazine designed by a couple guys, you know, PTS and a couple other guys that we know in the real steel world that we wanted to design another mag. Now, if we had a chance to design our own mag, this is what it would be. It has some of the features that we like of the P-Mag, but it has some features that other mags have or other you know other mag accessories have but it's all in one package <clears throat> what's cool about it is that this actually fits a wide variety of guns 416s and other exotic european guns as well um and you know it's definitely one of the big bonuses of this uh, in terms of fit and form one of the things i really like when it goes into the gun this one in particular hits seats really really well I mean, I was at both at AEX and GI the other day, and I was just like testing this and a whole bunch of their guns. I tested it in uh, level caps guns, M27, you know, F2000, uh, MTAR, um, you know, classic army guns, VFC guns, KWA guns, you know, PTS guns, just to make sure that this thing was up to spec. And we all know they all change, you know, everyone's specs are all a little different, and sometimes you get a mid cap that doesn't fit one gun or it fits one gun or the other. These fit just about everything that I've tried. So the, uh, the compatibility of this one is very much superb. Part of it, of course, due, is due to that lower cut. A lot of it also is also due to this wing here too, where it allows it to seat in the mag and has that very, very affirmative click. And it stays nice and, uh, and centered. It doesn't wiggle too much or anything like that. And what's also cool is they actually modified this little window here and a little bit of the open gate, just allowing it to uh, engage the hop up really, really well. <clears throat> One thing pretty cool, the actual uh, follower here is orange. And as you can see, there's a window here. What's cool is that it's actually functional. So unlike the EMAG where it was just there for looks, this one actually has a purpose. When it's loaded with 150 rounds and topped off, indicator will pop up there letting you visually know that this thing is good to go also because it's 150 rounds if you think about it right who's going to complain about having more ammo in a gunfight right if you had eight of these and eight of the original you know m2p mags for airsoft that's 120 rounds each as opposed to 150 rounds each eight mags of each full combat load 240 rounds more with using the epm mags that's like having two other mags on you if you were running the other. I mean, that's how you'd have to match up. But of course, with this, you just get that extra capacity. Part of it's due to they enhance the spring. I think they put a, a, a longer or stronger spring in here. Uh, and we've actually tested it rate of fire and feed wise. Um, with the original pre-production prototype, it fed 0.4s, which is pretty cool. But with the production prototype, they made the spring even better. Uh, a lot of it was due to make sure it would feed high rate of fire guns. Now, I was at GI the other day, and we tested out Mark's guns. I mean, Mark's guns shoot pretty dang fast. I mean, he likes to say it shoots slow, but it shoots fast. And it, it was shooting like 40, maybe just a little bit higher, 40, 42, 43 rounds per second. That's pretty high. That's like twice what your average AG typically shoots with an 11.1. One. This thing fed flawlessly. And I conducted my own test too and a bunch of my own guns to make sure that not only did it fit in a lot of the guns that I had, but it fed also. Definitely really impressed with the performance with this thing because it was just, it was ridiculous. It was just feeding like 40, 43 FP, uh, rounds per second gun and the gun was shooting 400 FPS. It was just pretty impressive and from my point of view especially because I'm a player too and it's just amazing to see a feat like that conquered with a, a mag like this. Now the base plate, really cool. It's also designed to act like a mag pod. So when it's in, in the gun, it'll literally sit like so. So you have a solid base to shoot from, but if you need to engage downward, you, you actually have enough space here so you can angle the gun down. <clears throat> also has this little notch here. It allows for a good uh, point to basically have, you know, for your muscle memory, where you can identify, okay, I, this is where the bottom of the bag is. It's a good reference point, more or less. And there's a lot of meat on the base plate. So when you're grabbing like this, indexing it out of a chest rig or out of a plate carrier, you know, it, it gives you a lot to grab, a lot to grip. And uh, what's cool too is also has a marking matrix there. So if you want to put your name, your number, your initials, marking it one through four, 
and, you know, all those different variations you can. So it's kind of a cool feature they had integrated. But typically from a player standpoint, it's the capacity, the feeding, and the compatibility that I'm really excited about. And we've tested this, we've run this, and we're going to be running it at Broken Home 3, and we're also going to be running it at Lion Claws. So Alex will be running these at Lion Claws, and I believe Airsoft GI is also going to be checking these out there as well. And at Broken Home, I will be bringing a whole batch out there for people to try out. So make sure you guys check it out. They should be out in hopefully about a month or so. Uh, production's like gearing, kicking in, and it takes a little while for the boats to get here. But, um, oh, and one thing that's really cool is that uh, it'll be available in two different colors. As you can see, they will be available in flat dark earth and black, whichever one you prefer for whatever kind of gun you use, because some people, some people like using one or the other. Uh, but make sure you guys check it out. Like I said, they're going to be at Lion Claws and Broken Home 3 if you guys want to check it out. Lion Claws, um, Alex Kell will be running them, and Broken Home High will be running them. If you want to check it out, uh, just come up to us. You might be able to run the, the mags for a game or two, or like you know, for par part of the day. And you can actually get hands on and see just how well they feed, and if they fit in your gun, because that's really important. So make sure you guys check it out. Uh, they should be here hopefully in about a month or so. Uh, but keep your eye out, because uh, they're going to be hitting pretty soon. Thank you guys for watching. This is Spartan 117GW. I'll see you next time. Spartan 117 GW. Make sure you guys check it out. Thanks for watching. Elite Force BBs, that's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.